guys, so the good folks over at Poetic sent me the uh, Poetic Revolution case for the S7 Edge. Now I do believe they have two versions, one without a screen protector and one with a screen protector. But of course, I would most likely prefer this one just because I can put, I can kind of choose which screen protector I, that I would use. But as you can see here, that I don't use really use a screen protector much. I'm not a big fan. Even when I do put them on, I usually end up taking them off. I like to go with the glass ones, but of course, glass doesn't work well with the curved screen here. But I usually always end up taking them off because after it just the feeling of glass is so nice. And with screens having either a 2.5D display or a curved screen like this one. Glass screen protectors are just not very good for those, so I'll just stick with the screen and take my chances with getting scratches. But yeah, you can um you can choose whichever one you want. Never been a big fan of the Autobox because of that, because of the fact that it has a built-in screen protector. It just kind of annoys me. So I like the fact that they give you the option whether or not you can have one with it and one without it. Now you look around here. This is actually a dual layer case. Um, we'll take a look around here. See if we can zoom in here. So you see, you got protective covers for the f for your charging port and your auxiliary cord, speaker cut out for that. And you ha really have to use a case with phones that have bottom firing sp speakers because otherwise you can easily block that. At least with the case, some sound still comes through even if you block it. But without a case, you're definitely not gonna hear anything. As you can see, there I love, I love, I love their design. Their cases always look so sick and so just so nice. That's got a good feel to it. Um, you got these here, top and bottom, so it's not slippery. Even without it, I don't think it'd be too slippery, but it, it, it is there for added slippery. I mean, for added grip. Then you have your buttons. They're nice and textured and very, very clicky. Still hate the fact that Samsung puts the volume buttons from the other side, so it's kind of hard for me to use these. But it's not Poetic's fault. But as you can see, also textured here, and also very clicky. So this is actually the clickiest one I've all, out of all the Poetic cases I've used. And compared to something like a spec case, man, it's way clicker. Like it feels really nice to just click that button right there. And then, if you can see here. You have a lip, so that means if your phone falls face down, you actually will be fine. And it's actually a really very durable case. It's a two, two layer case. I will show you. Don't feel like taking out the case right now, and I only got one hand, so this is kind of like what it looks like there. It's a two piece case. You first you put it in this piece, you clip it in, and you push it in there, and that is really it. It's as simple as that. Very easy to put on. Very easy to take off, and. Just so you know, in the three days that I was using this case, I actually happened to drop it face first on concrete. Now, I'm not going to do it again just because I don't want to, but yeah, it happened. But I do trust it. I did drop it again on hardwood floor just to show my uh, co-workers. But as you can see here, let's see if we can get a focus on that. That's where the impact was at the bottom. And then we had a little bit of an impact up here. So it took the drop very, very well since you got the rubber out here and the hard plastic on the inside. It took the drop very well. I wasn't worried at all. My heart didn't skip a beat. I mean, this is almost an $800 phone. I had it on my lap and I just like dropped it. And yes, but it survived it. It took it well. The screen was not so, as long as it's not like a direct impact on the screen, like if it was to just kind of fall and just hit the screen first thing with, you know, you're screwed, most likely. Or uh, you could also get a screen protector, maybe one that has like the um, extreme protection, like a thicker one. Then you could protect yourself from those. But um, but yeah, it took the tall, the fall just fine. And yeah, as you can see, it's right here. <laughs> and will I recommend this case? It all depends. I'm not sure why, but my camera lost focus. It was not getting it back. So, but anyways. Where was I? Will I recommend this case? It all depends. I usually go with the smaller, the thinner cases just because I don't like bulkiness. And this does add some bulk, but honestly, this case still makes this phone easier to use than without a case. And um, the only time the bulk annoyed me was here. So if you're trying to scroll down, sometimes I would hit here first and kind of just miss the screen and then start over here so I kind of like it would just never it would just not notice that I was trying to bring my notification uh, tray down so there's a couple misses with that 
but workarounds is like when I'm on my home screen, I don't even have to go up there. I just scroll down because I use Nova Launcher, so that's one of my shortcuts. Or you can use like a pie launcher, or you can just swipe here if you want. See, I don't really use that thing, but you can swipe that. But so that's the one thing I kind of noticed there. And um, of course, you know, all the flaps gonna annoy you. You know, I don't use my ports that often, but. It kind of is a little bit of annoying having to lift them up, but then again, you get to protect them from dust and everything now. And honestly, the case has been doing very, very good. Um, the only other thing I said I would say is I had to take it out and put it back in because once after it fell, I think um, it looked like it was just it wasn't flush and it wouldn't be flush. I would push it back in, but it would come out again. But after taking the case off and putting it back on it's now flush again so if you're having trouble and it's not going back in and you got a little OCD you got a little space in between just take the case off and put it back in and you should be good so all in all I'll definitely say this is a nice case it's, it provides a lot of protection for a phone that's very hard to protect with the curved screen it is under 15 bucks it's 10.95 right now I believe on Amazon and it's a really good case I really do enjoy um, the work that they do over there at Poetic and you know they're coming out the box honestly like this is one of the phones where it's a very easy phone to break I mean you got glass on the back glass on the front it's a curved display you can't really cover the curve but this case does a really good job at that and I gotta give them props for it so good job poetic and if you need if you have to have the protection and you did not get insurance on this phone get this case it saved my phone that's for sure because it was not going to survive that face first fall to concrete and so yeah this gets my seal of, seal of approval if you guys have any questions let me know in the question in the comment section below and i will see you on the next one